Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Windows Server 2019 training tutorial and this is number 13 video in this series and today in this video I'm going to show you how to configure install and configure DHCP server on Windows Server 2019 so as we all know DHCP server provide automatic IP address configurations to their client so whenever DHCP client request any IP address on a network if the DHCP server is going to be found it's going to offer the DHCP uh, automatic IP address configuration to their client so this process happened through the one uh, model called DORA which is uh, discover offer request and acknowledge so you can see from a small picture here DHC whenever DHCP client comes online and it's try to find the IP address it's going to broadcast one mm, packets all over the network to get the DHCP server discovered so once the DHCP server is getting uh, got discovered the DHCP server tell DHCP client okay um, I'm available here uh, and uh, tell me your request so uh, then the DHCP client is going to uh, request the request for the IP address and once the IP address is um, uh, IP address is available on a DHCP server for that client it's going to acknowledge and uh, uh, revert the uh, DHCP client with the IP address and the IP address got configured on DHCP client so this is a whole process which is going to be happen in backend when DHCP server uh, comes online and DHCP clients comes online to get the communicator and get the IP address automatically configured so we'll see how how we can install and configure DHCP server on Windows Server 2019 in this video so let's get in this is my demo environment which we are using in this video so I'm going to install a DHCP on my Active Directory server however you can install a standalone Active Directory uh, Active Di a server to install a DHCP so role so it's a small role you can create a dedicated server for it if you don't have a uh, much resource to create a DHCP server you can create and uh, just install a DHCP server role on any of the uh, 2019 server which is uh, running in your infrastructure and that our machine can uh, can start providing IP address to their client so in this video we have Win2K19 DC01 which is my Active Directory server currently you can see Active Directory and DNS role is running on this machine and this is Win2K19 DC01 my domain name victorinfosol.local and the IP address of this uh, DC is 192.168.0.201 200 so this is my active directory server and a part of this I have two client machine one is um, uh, Windows 10 CL01 and one is Windows 8 uh, CL1 so both machine having 4 gig of memory so this is Windows 8 so currently you can see this machine is configured as a static IP address so you can say D DHCP enable no and same you can see on this machine also which is my Windows 10 machine CL10 you can see from here Windows 10 CL01 so you can see this is also configured as a static so DHCP enabled no so this is taking the IP address from static configuration so we are going to put these machine on auto DHCP auto config mode once the DHCP installation is config is done and configuration is also done so let's get started so I'm going to install DHCP role on this machine on DC01 so this is the role so we can go ahead from uh, server manager dashboard manage and add role and features and click next and this is role so we need to select a role based on feature based installation click next select your server where you want to install the DHCP role so click next and here you can see the DHCP role DHCP server just mark it check and this is going to give you option to install a, a DHCP tools also management tools so yes include the management tools add features and you can see DHCP dynamic host control protocol server enable you to centralize uh, configure and manage and provide temporary IP address to the related information and in client computer so this is good uh, click next and then click next and this is going to say about what about DHCP server 
so you should configure at least one static uh, IP address on this computer so I uh, this machine having static IP address already configured before you install you should plan for subnet scope exclusion and all these stuff so uh, whenever you are uh, going to install DHCP server you must have to um, assign some subnet scope to DHCP server you so you have to get those plan ready what subnet you want to use what scope you want to create so you have to plan for it and we'll try to set up one small scope here with the subnet 2 to uh, 2 to uh, 24 bit subnet so let's go and click next and then this uh, DHCP server does not require any reboot so we are good to go and click on install and now it's going to install it so it's going to take a few seconds only it's going to be it's a very lightweight um you can say light application uh, role so it's going to install very soon so you can see almost 70 percent is completed so we have to wait for a few more seconds So now you can see installation complete succeeded and configuration required. So I'm going to click on complete DHCP configuration. Now it's going to ask you like uh, create the following security group for delegation uh, DHCP server administrator. So it's going to create some um, uh, you can say the delegated group. So authorize DHCP server on target computer if domain join. So this is fine. Just click on next and now I'm going to authorize this DSCP server so click commit now you can see security group created and please restart DSCP service on the target security group to uh, uh, take the effect and authorize DSCP server also done so this is good so since the wizard said we need to restart the DSCP services so I'm going on services on this machine and then we are able to see here one service called DSCP server so when when you're done with the installation you can come here and see you will got one DHCP uh, server service so I'm going to restart this service and this is good and now we are good to go and configure the service so now you can see from dash, uh, dashboard you have a DHCP server uh, role is showing here everything is good and now I'm going to click on tools and DHCP and here you can see your DHCP server basically which is Win2K19 DC01 so you can configure IPv4 and IPv6 both here from uh, DHCP servers uh, I'm going to focus on IPv4 so you need to create one uh, IP, IP range so I'm going to click right click here and I'm going to create new scope and welcome to the new scope wizard click next and call it like office lan you can say and you need to type the start IP address from where you want to start so I'm going to start from 161 I'm going to finish it at 192.168.200 so it's going to get uh, 40 IP address you can see the length 24 bit subnet mask so you can design these things as per your network requirement so I'm going to click next and if you wish to exclude any IP address so let's exclude some part of this DHCP so I'm going to exclude from 161 to 170 so first 10 addresses it's not going to um, allow uh, allocate to machines so this is going to exclude it so click next and a lease duration how much time you want to uh, um, save these lease in DHCP server so by default it's eight days so you can uh, always configure it as per your requirement so I'm going to make it like 24 hours 23 hours and then click next and then configure options DHCP scope options so yes I want to configure so this is going to uh, give you additional features to configure like DNS um, veins all these stuff so I'm going to configure it yes and I'm going to add put the router address here and uh, which is going to be a default gateway 
for my this subnet which we are creating scope click next and then it's going to take the DNS name automatically parent domain and it's going to take the DNS addresses also so click next wins I don't want to assign so click next and finally it's asking to activate this scope so yes I want to activate this and now you will be able to see here what is the scope and what is excluded so this is good so now we are good and this is exclusion which we have set and this is the distribution so it's going to assign now IP address and I'm going to click here on my Windows 8 machine and going to make it on DHCP configuration and we'll see what it's going to do so I'm going to uncheck this and opt an IP address automatically so it's going to discover for DHCP now and now if I double click here you will see it's got the IP address from DHCP which we have just configured scope which we have just configured and if you go to address lease you will be able to see the lease has been released here for this uh, machine we need the CL01 and same I'm going to do on my second machine so which is win 10 CL01 so I'm going to put my credential here set to automatic and just click OK and apply now we can go on click on details and you can see the DHCP enable and this got the IP address as well from our DHCP server so this is good and now we can go here and verify once again so you can see we got the IP address and the lease expired it's going to say 23 hours so this is good so this is all about how we can install and configure DHCP server on Windows Server 2019 so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye